We want to go to the border where our chief national correspondent, Tom Yamas, rode along with the Border Patrol on the Rio Grande. And Tom, you were on the scene as they confronted a smuggler bringing in migrant families. George, that's right. It happened right in front of us. One of those families carrying an infant across the Rio Grande. And now those families likely will be processed here just behind me. But like so many other families, they will not be separated. This is the Commissioner of Customs and Border Protection tells me his agents have had a huge challenge for separating families and now reversing course. Yeah, man. Overnight, in front of cameras, a migrant father stuck in limbo, separated from his five-year-old daughter, breaking down. He says he's begging God to be reunited with his daughter, who is in Chicago. He's in a shelter in El Paso. Some 2,000 children remain separated from their parents, dozens of them now living in this tent city in West Texas. But these images and others of kids in cages, along with reports of separations, have not reached some families still trying to enter the U.S. illegally. We have uh, Border Patrol just, just got a smugglers. That's a smuggler. We were right there as an alleged smuggler brought in two families and an unaccompanied minor. Border Patrol agent Robert Rodriguez chasing the man into the Rio Grande, but he got away, paddling back to Mexico. How do you know that was a smuggler? Guaranteed he's a smuggler just by the way he was dressed. No shirt, wearing shorts. As soon as he saw me, he was in the trail here. He ran over here, jumped in the raft, and went back south. A quarter mile from the river, the migrant families are stopped. A look of desperation on their faces. One of the mothers tells me the reason why she left with her 12-year-old daughter. La pobreza. She says she has to save her daughter from the poverty and the crime. She says they are not bad people, they just need help. And then this mother, traveling with her one-year-old named Angel. I ask Angel's mother why she would take him on this treacherous trip from Honduras all the way into southern Texas. She tells me gangs threatened to kill her baby. They already killed his father. And now, because of the president's executive order to stop separating families who cross illegally, CBP officials say some families could be let go, ordered to appear at a later court date. The CBP commissioner telling me this is not a long-term solution. We need to end the catch and release challenge. A much better system would be to keep families together through their immigration proceedings. That's what the Obama administration did in 2014. That's what the president has asked Congress to help us do now. So you're saying it was a mistake to separate those families? I'm saying a better system would allow us to keep them together. And two weeks ago, right here on GMA, we reported that the government was running out of space to house families and children. And we now know the U.S. military is going to help out. They're going to set up temporary shelters in Fort Bliss in the western part of the state and another base uh, in the central part of the state at Goodfellow Air Base. They're going to hopefully be able to house, George, up to 20,000 migrant children. But Thank as you, you say, that is a temporary solution. Okay, Tom, thanks. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.